Okay guys, so we're working on my uh, Cadillac 86 El Dorado Barretts. And it needs a bath, but it's doing okay. It's doing okay, it's sounding a lot better. I have to get the control modules inside. I thought I'd share a little bit of my automotive knowledge with y'all when it comes to reprogramming these. Okay? Now, what's main important is that these numbers right here match up. I don't care if it says Seville with DeVille. If these numbers match up, then you're doing good. 117056, 117056. But what you got to do is underneath the cover here, you have two chips. And those have to be swapped out from the replacement with what you have in your BCM or ECM. And I'm going to show y'all how I do this. Because you can look at the directions, and it can be a little confusing for some people. Okay? Going to my Haynes manual. Talks about here on page 6-12 that you have to press only on the edges of the prompt carrier. Pressure on the center could result in bent or broken pins or damage to the prompt. Okay? Now, it's very simplistic to be able to get these pins out. All you have to do is get your flathead screwdriver right here and pop up there and pop up there just enough to wiggle it out. And there you go. There's the chip. This chip will hold the mileage and other codes to your Cadillac from the history. So it's very important to swap those out. Because if you change your odometer, I mean, if you change your uh, mileage on a car, that's actually a uh, crime. I think it's a felony, actually. Kind of like tearing a tag off a pillow. Plus, I want the original miles to show on this car. This car has 80,000 original miles. It was parked a long, long time ago, 30 years. And I want it to have that 80,000 miles on it. Now, on this Brits, I have changed out the rims, which I'll go ahead and point out to everybody watching. The rims off of 1999 will fit directly on this 86. It's good to know. So that's what I have done so far. I've got trim to put back here. And it'll be good to go. I want to point out a little something else when it comes to this vehicle. If you notice the bumper on this car, that's not the original bumper. I have painted some of it white and painted the rest of it white temporarily. This bumper came off like an 89, okay, or possibly 92. I'll go ahead and say that if you have an 86 Cadillac Eldorado Barretts, a bumper will only be interchangeable on an 86 through an 88. That's it. You got a very few years. Now, if you use something like an 89 or 92 or 93, this is what's going to occur. They had to force that on there. But, I guess if I was hard pressed and I couldn't find a bumper anywhere else, which I may have to do, I'll just chop it right down the middle, take off the extra inches, Put a plate with some screws back behind it and bolts, bolt it back on, and fiberglass it up and paint it white. That's if I have to do that. Let's hope I don't. But this is a very nice car, if, even for its age. I will give you another pointer on this car if you have an 86 and you have a bunch of leaves that's just everywhere. It's that your air intake, <clears throat> there's an air intake right underneath here on the passenger side where water will get in if you don't clean the leaves out. And it's gonna flood the compartment on the passenger side floorboard, which is what has caused this car to go down in the first place because it was flooded with water. This BCM was just flooded like a fish aquarium. So I'm sure it's no good anymore. That's okay. We have it changed out with a one that checks out all right. And the motor even does sound better as you saw in the last video. So the motor does sound good, but the charging problem is still there. 
For those out there who do not know, let me go ahead and uh, bestow this upon you as well. If you have a charging problem with your 86 Cal uh, Cadillac Eldorado, and you've checked out the grounds, you've checked out the positives, you've checked out everything for the positive and, neg and negative battery terminal cables, you've done all that, it's still not holding a charge, it's going to be your ECM. Now, I had a guy that owns a Cadillac repair shop nearby, and he's, he was like, well, what's the ECM have to do with it? It has nothing to do with it. Yeah, it does. The ECM controls electrical pulses patterns to your 4100 engine, or 4.5 if you have a later model. That also controls the charging on your alternator. So you'll have to make sure that you have a good ECM. Or else your alternator, even though it's brand new like mine, will not hold a charge. It'll just run that battery down and cut off on you. But that's what I'm doing today and just thought I'd share this little bit of information of wealth with you. I hope your projects are going well. And uh, I'm going to get back to it and I'm going to install this BCM. And I got the ECM coming in soon because the ones that I have are the incorrect ones. Which is my third and last bit of information for you today. If you have an ECM off an 89 Cadillac Seville, it will not interchange. It has to be an 86 or 87 ECM, possibly a 1998 as well, but double check that and make sure that these numbers line up because if you don't, it's not going to be the right one. So, okay, guys, I will update you later. Hopefully, as this car is going down the road like it should with grace and style. This is Alabama Deep, and I'm signing off for the day.